Yo, what's up, most like the, 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 the dawn, and welcome back to another reaction, y'all. Um, I hope this isn't real. Um, it says here, three former dancers accused Lizzo of weight shaming and sexual harassment. Um, I'm not really a big fan of Lizzo, but from the outside looking in, every time I see Lizzo, like, on an interview or whatever, she always have good spirits. She, uh, always had good energy. So, uh, I don't, and she, you know, she, she made good motivational music, you know, feeling good as hell, you know, that, that good energy music, like, that's what she is, she's a very good artist, so I don't really believe this, I hope this is fake news, I, I really hope that, um, these former dancers are just, you know, trying to get some money up out of her, so let's just go ahead and dive in, into this footage and before I get my actual opinion on this, let me go ahead and blow this up real quick. Today, we have NBC News exclusive. Three former dancers for pop star Lizzo were accusing the singer of sexual harassment and creating a hostile work environment. That's according to a lawsuit filed today, Tuesday, rather, in Los Angeles. Wait, today is Tuesday, isn't it? Today is Tuesday, so that would be today. <laughs> today August in 1st. Los Angeles. Now, today's my dad's it's birthday. It's funny August that 1st. I have to ask what day it is. Uh, the dancers who accuse Lizzo, who's known for embracing body positivity, of weight shaming and, they, and pressuring them to touch a nude performer at an overseas strip club. NBC News correspondent Stephen Romo is following the story for us. Uh, Stephen, tell us more about this lawsuit and what these former dancers are alleging. Yeah, a lot of shocking stuff here. Some wide-ranging accusations in this lawsuit. This was brought by those three former dancers. They're alleging uh, sexual harassment and creation of a hostile workplace. All of it is shocking to read, but there are also those claims that Lizzo body shamed one of the dancers for weight gain. That's shocking, of course, because Lizzo has been such a beacon of body positivity. Right. Those sexual harassment claims allegedly come from an after party in Amsterdam that Lizzo allegedly hosted after a concert. Now, the plaintiffs claim she forced one of those dancers to touch a nude performer. There are also allegations that a dance captain, Shirley Quigley, harassed people with religious discussions, accused of trying to convert them to her Christian beliefs after they said they were not interested. There are also some descriptions of an alleged 12-hour rehearsal described as excruciating. It came after Lizzo allegedly accused some of the dancers of drinking before performances. Now, the dancers are all former employees now. Two were let go, one resigned. The suit names Lizzo, her production company, and Quigley, and not all of them are accused of doing all of these various things. For example, there are also racial harassment allegations that appear to be focused only on that production company. Those uh, body shaming allegations, though, are the ones that are getting the most headlines, of course, because Lizzo is just known for being such a beacon for so many people. Well, I was going to say this is particularly striking because her brand is so centered around body positivity. Have we heard from Lizzo or her team? Thank yeah, you. I've kept, uh, continue to check. They have not responded to NBC News Thank reports you. for comments, but I've just checked Show me social footage. media. Lizzo has posted three times on Instagram today. Nothing about this. Of course, this was just filed today, so we do expect to take some time to actually hear back from them, but we, uh, we are definitely waiting to see what she and the other parties involved have to say. Yeah, we'll keep following it. Stephen Romo, thank you. Thanks for watching. I don't believe it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Are you still there? Y'all good? You straight? My bad. I ain't mean to drop you like that. I'm sorry. Okay. F fix this right here. Right here. You got it. Right there. There you go. Um, I don't believe this. Them dancers, they just hating on her because they don't work for her no more. And they got caught drinking before performing and all that. And they trying to get some money out of her. Nah, I don't believe none of that shit. Show me footage of her body shaming because that's ridiculous like think about it y'all come on now really show me footage of her body shaming and show me footage of her trying to force somebody's hand to touch a new dance like come on touch it touch it come on who does that nobody does that bro that's weird come on now don't don't do lizzo like that don't do lizzo like that lizzo is a sweet person but i know looks could be deceiving i'm i'm, I'm the outside looking in i don't know lizzo personally I only know from interviews and, and TV and music, but I don't know her person. I can't just pick up the phone, call her, like, oh, listen, blah, blah, blah. But I don't, I don't believe this. So until they can show me otherwise, Lizzo, hold your head up. And let's just wait and see if we get a response from Lizzo so she can explain the situation. And, you know, maybe we could, maybe we could get a, a word from both parties and see what the former dancers got to say. So Lizzo, keep your head up. Um... Keep doing your thing and stay pretty.
Cause Lizzo is fine as hell though. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. She she nice. I like her. I like, she look like somebody I could just snuggle with. Just mm -hmm. she smell like she like she like she smell like cocoa butter. Mm. Anyway, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe and share. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, go ahead and put your comments down below and tell me what you think about this situation. See you in the next video. Peace.